Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back um, for the second show of today. Uh, Alexis Rocha uh, dis- <coughs> destroys uh, Ashy, a uh, guy we hadn't known, George Ashy. Um, seventh round knockout of the year type of knockout. Uh, we're going to get into that. Before we do, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day. Uh, Eight to ten minutes a day. It's the second show of the day. Um, please also subscribe to our other channel on uh, YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All right, let's let's get into uh, today's show. That was vicious. Um, Alexis Roko, Lex, is he's ready. That was. A masterful performance. He is a top 10 welterweight. We can go through the names. Alexis Roca is a top 12, a top 10 welterweight. Uh, I, I know it's not the greatest name in the world. And his last fight in uh, San Diego wasn't the greatest name in the world. Um, but he's fighting active. You know, he's active. He's fighting every few months. I think they said that's his fifth fight in 17 months or something like that. So he's active, he's taking care of business, and he's doing it in spectacular fashion. You know, that Blair College fight was 10 months ago already, believe it or not, um, at, at, at USC, the Galen Center. He's got on, he's won three more fights, hasn't lost a round since. He's not lost a round since, and he's fought 27 of them. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we want to see him against better competition, but it's there. The hand speed, the reflexes, the power, the angles. He, he, the kid's there. He's ready. He is ready. Um, he's calling out Terrence Crawford. Look, I'm not saying he's going to beat Terrence Crawford, but there's no more prepping him. Like, he's he's peaking now. Like, he's hitting his prime now. There's no more point in waiting. You know, uh, Verge is fighting in April. I, I'm guessing he's not going to wait. You know, uh, Verge wouldn't come back again. Um, and then at that point, he... he be looking for a Spence fight or something like that. So I, I don't think that's going to happen. The Blair Cobbs rematch makes no sense because Cobbs looked good against Hooker, um, but Rocco was was clearly better at that particular time, and he's clearly better, and he's gotten clearly better since then. If this guy was easy to hit, that's not the issue anymore. Look, from the first moment on in that fight, it was obvious the hand speed was an issue. Right, the hand speed difference between Ashley and, and, and Rocco was far, far too great. Um, and I, I knew it was gonna. I tweeted, you guys go check my tweet for the first one. So the hand speed, the, the difference in the hand speed is far too, far too great. This is this is gonna be a problem for Ashley, and it was. Ashley never got going. Um, you know, a tough guy, durable guy. He fought hard, but clearly there are levels. Clearly there are levels. And Alexis Roca is now a, a premier top 10 welterweight. Not saying he's going to beat Thurman. Not saying he's going to beat Boots or Verge or Spence. If Spence is still a welterweight. I don't know. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying he's in that group. And he's primed. He's ready. There's no more need for soft touches. There's no more, no, no more need for these type of opponents. It's sink or swim now. It's sink or swim now. He... he he he's at the level of of, of Connor Ben, right? He's there. He's ready. Um, when, when we look through the kind of you know, I don't know. Are they going to make the Crawford fight? Right? We go through the walls of division. You got Crawford. You got Spence. You got Thurman. You got Ugas. Um, you got Verge. You got Boots. I like him better than Stan Jonas. I like him better than Connor Ben. Do I like him better than Ugas? 
he's in that conversation, guys. He is. He's a southpaw who's long. He can hit. He's got good hand speed. He's defensively sound. He's not the same guy. I would like to see that rematch with Speedy Ellis. Obviously, it's not going to happen for promotional reasons. Um, but I mean, I mean, who do you guys want to see him fight next? Michael McKinson, Mean Machine. What's that going to do? He's ready. He's ready. If if like, and he's either going to sink or he's going to swim. If you blow, if you throw him in there, Cody Crowley. All right. If you throw him in there with Crawford and Crawford steamrolls him, okay, you got your answer. You got your answer. If you put him in there and he wins, uh, that's not going to shock me either. So what, what I'm saying is the time has come. The skills are there. He's sharp. The counter punching was brilliant. The knockout, you could see him setting it up. He loaded up like, you know, batting practice, home run. Like, he was swinging for the fences on that thing. And as soon as he landed, I was like, whoa, he hit him so hard. This thing is over, right? Um, the right hook was was there all night. The straight left hand, he was throwing in combination. Angles. I, I mean, his jab was popping. It, 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 again, I know the opponent is not the best opponent in the world. It's not. But. That's an A-plus performance. That's an A-plus performance against a, a C-level opponent, granted. But there's just no more need for, for these level. I mean, this is he's a top-10 guy. Like, the names that I, I think are better than him. Spence Crawford. Okay, fine. Verge Boots. Thurman. I don't put anyone else over him. I got him to six. I got Ugas at seven. And then we can look at the other guys, the kind of bands, Soul Mains, Rashid Ellis. You know, I, I don't know if they're going to put him in with Hooker. I don't know if they're going to put him in with McKinson. I, he's just ready, right? And I know Golden Boy took that meeting with Crawford. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what was discussed. He said that Oscar said they could get him a fight with Spence. That makes zero sense. Why would he go to Golden Boy to get a Spence fight? They can't get Verge a Spence fight. Well, I mean, that makes zero sense. So there's something else being discussed there. I don't know what it is. Maybe we'll find out. Um, but Alexis Roca is ready. There's no other way to look at it. He's 25. He's hit his peak. He's physically strong. He's fast. He's powerful. He's defensively improved. Defensively sound now. It's time, it's time to step up. It's time to put him in the ring with those guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please subscribe to the other channel as well. Quick hits. Um, uh, the Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds from the Town to Autism Research and Recovery. It's January 28th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.